Hello from the Philippines. So, you've been talking to your Filipina for a long while now, and you find her really sexy and attractive. You can't wait to meet her. That day finally arrives. You hop on the plane to the Philippines. You make that long, long journey to meet that sexy, attractive Filipina that you've been talking to for many, many months, maybe sometimes even years. You meet her, you finally meet her and something is bothering you. Something's just not right. She's lovely, a kind person. She's a genuine person or seems to be that way. She's never really asked for money. But still, something's nagging at the back of your brain. And then finally, you admit it to yourself. I don't find her attractive. And you're kind of getting into an internal argument within yourself. Because she's a nice person. I've known her for all this time. And I liked her when we were camming. I liked her on webcam. I liked her photos. What's the matter with me? I just don't really find her attractive in real life. Ah, uh, what am I going to do? You're thinking to yourself. I've come all this way to meet her. You know, we're going to get married at some stage. She's lovely as a person, but she ain't doing it for me. There are all these beautiful Filipinas that I've seen photos of on dating sites. And she's just not doing it for me. What do I do? Well, you got yourself into a bit of a situation, really, haven't you? Okay. It can happen for whatever the reason when you've come face to face with her in the Philippines she's just not as attractive as you thought she was hoped she was and for you because not for everyone looks are in the eye of the beholder but for you it's important that she's a genuine honest person a loving type of person but you want the looks as well the body and the looks well there's only one thing to do really isn't there and sometimes in this life you've got to be cruel to be kind if she's not the right person for you and she's not the right person for you you're gonna to have to I'm afraid to say dump her now, how you do that is really your own business. For example, if you were silly enough to come here and you're staying at her relatives, it's going to be trickier to just dump her like that. You could find some excuse and say, oh, I need to stay in a hotel. Yada, yada, yada. Perhaps you booked a hotel for your stay in the Philippines and she was a part of that package. Again, what do you do? You can't just say, get lost. I don't find you attractive. So you're either going to have to grin and bear it for the duration of your vacation, play along with it. And then when you get back home, you gently dump her or you dump her in the fashion that you want to do it in. Or, and I don't know how you would do this, you find a different hotel. But if she's basically with you day and night, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, so yeah, so you've got two options really. You either say it to 
while you're in the Philippines, I don't know in what fashion, again, you do it. I'm sorry, you're not the right person for me. That's not going to go down too well. I think you're going to have to grin and bear it. For your two weeks, three weeks you're here, you just play along. And then when you get home, you end it. Now, if you're coming here to get married to her, wow, boy. Ah, you're in a bit of a flipping mess, aren't you? How'd you get out of this one? Well, if you're adamant in your own mind, she is not the right person for you and you've left it late, really late in the day and you're going to get married in two, three weeks time, you're just going to have to tell her straight. Again, how you do it is your own business. I can't tell you how you break it to her, but you've got to. There's no point marrying someone you're not completely happy marrying because you will pay the price later. I thought you did your homework before you got here. I did, Phil. But I got here, Phil, and I didn't feel it the way I thought I would. I'm sorry, Phil. I didn't mean to break her heart, but it's the way things have turned out. I don't want to break her heart down the line later. It's going to be messy, more messy than it is now. I'd rather do it now than just do it. Don't play the girl. Don't fool around with her. You know, you're going to break her heart as it is. Don't make it worse for her. You know, don't just think about you. It's about her. She's done nothing wrong. Jeez, I hope you don't make a habit of doing this. I won't, Phil. It's just... I'll be honest with you, Phil. When I was talking to her on, on cam, something wasn't quite right then, but I thought that when I met her, that feeling would go, yeah, you thought, you thought. You should have thought better then, shouldn't you? Because you weren't thinking about her. You were thinking about yourself. Do what you have to do. Yes, you've got to be cruel to be kind. Just do it. Even if you're here and you're staying in a hotel together, do it. I've changed my mind from earlier in the video. Do it. There is no point going along with it for the two or three weeks you're here if she is not the person for you. You're going to have to do it. And then I would advise you to change the hotel you're staying in because you don't know her family. If you're staying at such and such a hotel and you tell her, sorry, darling, it's, you're not for me, goodbye. You don't know if there's going to be retribution from her family and they'll know the hotel, the location you're in. You're going to have to change the hotel. You should have thought about that before you came. Listen, you were being reckless. You've hurt her. She did nothing wrong to you. You better get your ducks in order if you ever hope to come here again. And you better make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, you've got rid of her. You told her straight. She seems to have taken it well. You're here now. You've got two and a half weeks left of your vacation. Well, look around. See if you can find a Filipina while you're here. You know, if you've done it. She's accepted it. Just mingle. 
Don't just sit in your hotel doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy the sights and see what you can see. You might be walking in the street and you see her. You might be in a bar and you see her. You might be having a coffee and you see her. You might be in McDonald's or Jollibee and you see her. At least you're seeing her in person this time. It's obvious for you looks are really important. So you really need to see somebody in person, not just on cam. And I hope the next person you find is the right person for you. As for her, that Filipina, what can you do? It's done. It's best to get over it. Don't think about it and just carry on. Time is of the essence and you can't afford to waste it. That's all.